What's going on everybody? How you doing true believers? Transforming reviewers? This is your guy, T. Jilla, aka C to No 75, representing with another Transformers classic review of Universe Prowl. And let's get down to the bottom of the hour right there. There he is in all his classic form. In that alt mode of that uh, nice police car, aka Highway Patrolman. Yeah, he's doing it. We got the nice little uh, remake of the classic Autobot. This is an Autobot review, so there we go. Got the insignia in the back, letting you know that this is the takeover. On the back of the card, you can see some other classic figures. We got Sunstreaker and Tankor. Those reviews will be coming soon, but right now it's about this man right here. This bot right here. Proud. As you can see, we got the nice new revamped Nissan 350Z into a Highway Patrol police vehicle. It's got five star spoke rims, you know. Let's go ahead and do a nice little 360. We got the Autobot insignia on the front. I'm saying I'll pull back a little bit so you can see that clearly. Got the nice little clear translucent lights in the front right there. They actually look like you know you can actually see like like they almost look like real light bulbs actually. Let's see if I hit it with the red bead. Look at that. Hit it up yeah. That's what we got right there. We got Prowl. This guy right here is definitely one of my favorite Autobots from the G1 series. You know, and then on top of that, they were so good enough to go ahead and make him into a Nissan 350Z, which is one of my favorite cars. Favorite Transformer, favorite car, Hasbro, bam, see that? Thumbs up! Can you dig it? It's proud. Yeah, Autobot representative. On his card, gives him a strength of 7 and intelligence of 9. A speed, speed should be a 7. For a Nissan 350Z, it's got to be a 7. You know he's got to be modified out. You know, got the red translucence in the back. You know, for endurance, they give him a 9. Rank, they give him a 9. For courage, can you guess what they gave him? Yes, a 9. Now, the one point that, like, actually threw me off a little bit was that they gave him a 4 for Fire Blast. If you look at this guy, he's got weapons, I can't believe a four, but hey. Don't got a license plate in the back, but we got the nice little detail on the on the pipes right back there. Yeah, he rolls pretty smoothly, you know. This is one of the new classic figures, and he's definitely been remade into a true newer classic. So what we're going to do next is get into a review of the robot mode. After I point out a couple more details, you got the nice little grill going on here. It's aerodynamic. This is a good figure. It's sturdy. It's not die cast, but it's plastic. And yeah, he rolls nice. You know, this right here doesn't look like that right there. You can see that clearly. But hey, we all know Hasbro's game. And that's how they do it. That looks a little bit cooler, but this kind of looks like that crown right there that he wears on his head. So, you know, I can deal with it. Nothing's perfect, but it's a good transformer. It's a good solid transformer. And yeah, I do like him. So, without further ado, here we have the Autobot of the Hour. Damn. Yeah, there he is. Yep. I do really appreciate the universe line because it goes back in time and brings out all those Transformers that, you know what I'm saying, we love and miss. The ones that are stables of the whole series. And this guy right here is definitely a stable of the whole series. You know? 
I like how the Autobots transform. And when they transform, the doors on their wings, you know, the doors became wings. I always thought that the Autobots should be able to fly with doors that look like that, but their cars, so I guess a flying car, even in robot form, I don't know. But then again, you had Decepticons that could fly like the Stunicons. But I didn't write the series, I just enjoyed the figures, you know. Let's get a nice little zoom in on this guy right here. Got highway control, police on the doors. And I mean, I really am digging this figure. We'll get into the face, got the nice little white piping in the eyes. We'll demonstrate that in a minute. Look closely. See that right there? Can you see the eyes? Yeah, that's cool. I like that. And if you want to even go back to the classic Autobots of Evil episode, it's not showing as good, but you know what I'm saying. I guess the true blues got to always show through. And this figure right here is a classic must have for any collector out there. I highly recommend them. Yeah, I highly recommend them. When I saw them, I was shocked. They actually brought them back out. Now, his arms, you know, you walk them down, they swivel. Camera's falling. Tripods. Definitely get a good tripod when you're doing your reviews. Nope. Get a good tripod to make sure you do. Now this is my second time doing this review and if it doesn't come out right the second time, I'll just do it the third time, but I'll be a little annoyed. But um, this transformer right here, he's got the arms that swivel, he's got the leg articulation, you know, he's got the heel feet, and what I like about him as a classic, the old ones, the feet used to always stick together and there was a metal bar right there on certain figures like Chaz, Prowl, Sunstreak, or certain ones. Well these new ones, bam, see that? That's how they're supposed to stand. They're supposed to stand up on their own two feet. I'm liking that. You know, let's get the back detail. Not a lot of kibble. You know, there it is. Got the proper spacing for everything. The wheels roll. Got the chrome wheels. How did I make that happen? Chrome wheels, just that quick. You went from Autobot flat black wheels to chrome wheels. Man, I'm telling you, I'm getting good at this review game. I also like to give a couple of shout outs to uh, Night Slash 2020, Sean Long, uh, Biker Trash Wolf, definitely the guy when it comes to reviews. I'd like to thank my subscribers that are starting to pick up on my videos. If you've seen my first video, which was Galvatron and Megatron, you know I'm new to this and there are more coming. But yeah, oh yeah, Biker Trash. Happy 28th birthday, guy. Happy 28th. Uh, let's see. The head does a full 360, you know. Now, he doesn't have an adjustable neck. He does, but then it's on the spring, so it doesn't really stay up. But hey, I can deal with it. Like I said, nothing's perfect. Got the two acid blasters right here. They raise up. Everything's well spaced out. Even got the chrome dog grill right there. Yeah, this is a must pick up Transformers fans. If you really, really enjoy your, your Transformer figures, he's definitely a plus in the collection, you know. And there's not really much more I can say about this guy that's going to make him shine any better than he already does. So, uh, yeah, can you dig it, true believers? Classic Transformers Universe crowd. Got the little fold out blaster. It's actually stored underneath the vehicle, but if you get this figure, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Good light piping on the head. Overall, thumbs up. True believer, thumbs up. Can you see that? Hasbro, you know you missed out on certain things. I still give this figure a thumbs up. So uh, until the next review, this is T. Jilla signing out. And uh, cop this figure if you want a classic for your uh, collection. Till next time, true believers.